We're back, joined now by Michael Feldman, who's the exec Deputy Executive Director of Los Angeles World Airports. Michael, welcome to our show. Thank you very much, Art. Good to be here. I noticed airports, plural, and I found out that uh, Michael is responsible not only for LAX, but also for Van Nuys and Ontario. So you have three airports under your ballywick. That's correct. And as one of the number two people, tell us uh, some of the challenges in running an airport. Well, first of all, I really wanted to acknowledge uh, IFMA uh, for what it has done to help me actually prepare LA World Airports to really step into the future. Uh, we are in the process of transforming LAX, both in terms of what we're building, as well as how we're updating and changing our business model and really preparing to ramp up the type of experience we offer people who use the facilities. So we have a multifaceted uh, effort underway right now that is really going to change the way people use and experience LAX in just a couple and of years. And IFMA has helped you in that transition. IFMA, well, IFMA helped me personally earlier in my career. Uh, about 15 years ago, I had a very challenging uh, situation up at Seattle Tacoma International Airport where I, where I was working at the time. And some of the key principles that IFMA uses as part of facility management, what facility management is uh, you know, essentially about, were critical in helping me get through that challenge. And it gave you ammunition to get the resources that you needed to do your job. Absolutely. Yeah. And it allowed, it allowed, um, you know, it allowed me to uh, now give back to this association, which is one of the things, one of the reasons I'm sitting here today. That's great. Uh, and you gave me this quote, if you're going to maintain it, if you're not going to maintain it, don't build it. Talk about the relationship. Well, I think very often a lot of people who are excited about building and investing in new facilities do not think about the ongoing care and attention that those facilities are going to need over time. And sometimes they don't understand what that ongoing cost is going to be. The only place to control that ongoing cost is at, in your planning and design of that facility. Once it's in front of you, you either have to pay what it's going to cost to protect the investment you've made, or you're going to see less and less value of, of your investment. Now, you have a beautiful new International Arrivals building, the Bradley building, a lot of glass there. Tell us about that one. Well, the new, the new uh, Tom Bradley, or what we call our Bradley West project, which is a western extension of the Bradley West terminal that will really allow us to accommodate the largest aircraft flying, the A380 airplane, which is the double-deck double -decker. aircraft. Uh, we will have nine gates capable of loading and unloading that facility. So we're right now building about a million and a half square foot addition to the existing uh, Bradley building, and that will be put into service actually very soon, just uh, the middle of September. Tony, it must be satisfying to have uh, an entity as huge as uh, LA World Airports uh, uh, feel as they do about your organization. Yeah, well, you know, people like Mike has been very, very blessed with uh, uh, some really rich kind of knowledgeable members that we actually get and are able to attract to our board of directors. And uh, we really appreciate what Mike can bring to the table. He's on our executive committee and will be with us uh, helping lead and guide IFMA in terms of the future of facility management for some years to come. So we really appreciate that. You, in fact, will be chair of IFMA in a couple of years. You're currently second. Well, I don't want to jinx anything, but yeah, yeah. I certainly <laughs> hope so. Um, if, if past this precedent, Correct. you're on the chain, yeah. Absolutely. That's right. And you feel a, a, a passion about it and a desire to give back to this organization that's well, helped you so much. Absolutely, and to uh, take full advantage of the products and services that IFMA makes available uh, to interested facility managers and uh, the, all of the members and the educational uh, credentials were mentioned. Uh, LA World Airports has gone from having zero facility management professionals um, about two and a half years ago. We now have 80. And, that, wow. and they are strategically placed throughout my organization to really help embed the best practices of a facility manager. And you yourself are deputy executive director. You're one of the number two people at the airport and you are imbued with FM. So at least in your organization, FM is right up there near the top. Well, and that's one of the things that attracted me to the position was the uh, opportunity to come down and start an owner organization for the, uh, for the department. The executive director had a vision that she really needed an uh, organization that was going to come in and take care of the massive new investments that are being made. 
and uh, the job was written, uh, I, I couldn't have asked for a better uh, stepping stone than this position. Let's give a simple example to our audience of, of facilities management challenges. You mentioned before we went on air that if a, if a building, or in your case an airport, has a lot of different vendors supplying escalators or this or that, that creates additional challenges for FM. Well, that's all part of the ongoing cost. How, how you equip a building, how you design it, uh, the amount of glass it's going to have in it, the number of escalators, elevators. We have large baggage systems uh, that people only get to see the very front of. There's miles and miles of conveyor belts in all of those buildings, moving bags around, for example. That all has to be, and if it you all has to run. If you have 20 different vendors supplying anything, that makes it more complicated for you. That's right. Being in a low bid environment and certainly a competitive bidding uh, environment, we sometimes end up with multiple types of the same device. So we really try to have standards to minimize the number of, let's say, elevator types or escalator types because that impacts the amount of spare parts we have to have, the amount of training our people have to have, et cetera. Well, we all fly through LAX from time to time, or most of us do, so the next time you're there, instead of just racing to your counter or whatever, take a look around and, and think about uh, the challenges of keeping that whole thing going. I mean, that, that, that really is an ongoing challenge. All day, 24 hours a day, 365 <laughs> days a year. It never <laughs> stops. Michael, thank you so much for joining us here on the show. Great to be here, thank you. And we'll be back with more of Straight Talk after these messages. How do you like your chances the rest of the way? I got no idea. But I do know that if we stay with Naples Rib Company, at least we won't go hungry. Coach, what do you think about some of those questionable calls tonight? Oh, yeah, but if you want a sound call, I'd call Naples Rib Company. You can't miss on that call. Then Naples Rib Company is part of your game plan? There really is nothing more motivating than a great barbecue meal at Naples Rib Company. Victory or not, Naples Rib Company, great game plan. At Performance Plus Tire, you'll find we carry Toyo tires. For over 50 years, Toyo has been a world leader in the development of high-quality tires. Optimum performance, safety, and a comfortable ride. That's what makes Toyo tires great. And now come into Performance Plus Tire for a great deal on these Toyo tires. Proxies ST, Open Country AT, and Proxies 4. Toyo tires, driven to perform. Come in today and we'll install new Toyo tires on your vehicle while you wait. Performance Plus Tire on Cherry Avenue, one mile north of the 405 in Long Beach. When I was a boy growing up in Italy, I had a dream to own in my own store. I came to the United States and I worked hard as a tailor. Hi, I'm Umberto. I've been in Long Beach since 1960, carrying the finest quality men's clothing. It was a long way away, but styles are just around the corner. Umberto, 2141 Belfar, Long Beach. Charter, TV will never be the same. Now you can make a date with your favorite movies and shows anywhere and anytime with on-the-go content from Charter. Charter.